Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Make Vocal Stuff. Today is a pretty simple mixing lesson because this one was requested. How do you get music to go on a voice track without making the voice track be hidden? So, this one's a little quick a little walkthrough. In Audacity, you should also be, do, be able to do this in two tracks. So, first off, here's the voice track. Hi there! If you can hear me, that means the music is off or just right where it needs to be. Awesome. And this is the music I've chose. Oh, okay. It's a nice little guitar, guitar strum. So, if you put these two on right where they're at at the moment... Hi there! If you can hear me, that means the music is off or just right where it needs to be. So if you look, you can kind of hear it, but the music was a lot more overpowering than the voice track. So we're going to play around with things. So, on Audition, you're going to look... So every normal state is 0 dB. So let's go down to about 6. See what that does. Hi there! If you can hear me, that means the music is off or just right where it needs to be. Close. Now they're almost at the same level. So let's go down just a wee bit more. Let's say 15. Hi there. If you can hear me, that means the music is off or just right where it needs to be. Good. That's a good level. But if you start get talking really low, that might bleed just a little bit. So we're going to go to the number I always go to in production, 25. Hi there! If you can hear me, that means the music is off or just right where it needs to be. Yay! That's the one we want! Alright, so what we're gonna do is export this because now you can do some fun stuff. If you want everything to come out a little balanced, which you, everybody really likes in music production, just trim some of the fat here. Click have it all be selected, then you want dynamic processings and smooth vocals. Now, in Audacity, you actually can do stuff like this. So in your line that you're gonna see in Audacity, you have marks at negative 20 and negative 10 to have make this little thing. What that does, it makes peaking come out a little smoother. So this isn't full processing. This is really only stuff you have to worry about in post-production. Don't do this with rock recordings. And you get something like this. Hi there. If you can hear me, that means the music is off or just right where it needs to be. Huzzah! That is how you do it. At least that's how I've been doing it for years. There's probably different ways of doing it, but this is the one that's always been tried and true with me. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little quick lesson. And if you have any other requests on simple sound production, let me know. Bye.